China boasts the world's largest high-speed rail network, stretching over 40,000 kilometers, more than half of all high-speed rail tracks globally. This extensive system developed rapidly over the last decade, beginning with the first high-speed route between Beijing and Tianjin in 2008. Now, China connects nearly all major cities with trains running at speeds between 250 and 350 kilometers per hour. This achievement was made possible through massive financial investments exceeding $900 billion and substantial government support. Plans project the network will reach 70,000 kilometers by 2035. The high-speed rail system not only reduces travel times, but also fosters economic growth in less urbanized regions by linking them to major metropolitan areas. Insects are the most diverse group in the animal kingdom, representing up to 80% of all species, with around 1 million described species and many more likely undiscovered. They inhabit nearly all environments, from deserts and rainforests to arctic regions. Insects play an essential role in ecosystems as key pollinators, decomposers, and as a fundamental part of the food chain for various animal species. Among insects, bees are particularly important for the ecosystem, pollinating the majority of agricultural crops. Without insects like bees, global food production would face serious threats. Approximately 90% of the vitamin D essential for bone health and immune function is synthesized in the human body through skin exposure to UV rays from the sun. Known as the sunshine vitamin, vitamin D is challenging to obtain solely from diet. Only certain fish, like salmon and mackerel, and fortified products like milk and cereal contain small amounts. In some regions with limited sunlight, especially during winter, many people suffer from vitamin D deficiencies, leading to health issues like bone weakening, osteomalacia, and reduced immunity. For this reason, vitamin D supplements are often recommended by doctors. Sponges are the oldest animals on our planet, having appeared around 600 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs. These multicellular organisms have a simple structure with no tissues or organs, consisting instead of networks of canals that filter water and absorb nutrients. Sponges play an important role in marine ecosystems by purifying water and serving as habitats for smaller organisms. Some sponge species can live for hundreds or even thousands of years. Scientists have discovered sponges over 10,000 years old, making them some of the longest living organisms on Earth. Evolutionarily, fungi are more closely related to animals than plants, belonging to a separate kingdom known as fungi. Like humans, fungi cannot produce their own food through photosynthesis, setting them apart from plants. Instead, they decompose organic matter to absorb nutrients, a process essential for their survival. Some fungi can communicate with each other through long filaments called hyphae. Certain fungi, like honey mushrooms, form vast underground networks, sharing resources with other plants, often referred to as the wood wide web. The Antarctic ice sheet is one of the thickest and most massive on Earth, with an average thickness of about 2 kilometers, reaching over 4 kilometers in some places. This ice sheet holds roughly 60% of the world's freshwater resources. Beneath Antarctica's ice lie fascinating features, such as river systems, lakes, and even volcanoes. Lake Vostok, for example, lies four kilometers under the ice and has been isolated from the Earth's surface for millions of years, potentially housing unique life forms. If all the Antarctic ice were to melt, sea levels worldwide would rise by about 58 meters, causing catastrophic impacts on coastal regions and ecosystems. Dolphins possess a unique ability known as unihemispheric sleep, where one hemisphere of their brain remains active while the other rests. This allows dolphins to maintain control over their breathing, as they must consciously rise to the surface to breathe and keep an eye out for potential threats. Dolphins sleep this way for a few hours each day, helping them survive in the open ocean where they must always be alert to predators. This type of sleep is also observed in other marine mammals, like whales, and in certain migratory birds that must remain on the move for several days, making it a rare sight. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, acts as Earth's cosmic bodyguard. Its massive gravity attracts comets and asteroids that could pose a threat to our planet. 
When objects approach Earth, Jupiter often alters their trajectories, either ejecting them from the solar system or redirecting them away from our orbit. In 1994, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter, leaving marks visible through telescopes. This event demonstrated Jupiter's critical role in protecting Earth from similar collisions with cosmic objects. In forests, trees communicate using the so-called wood wide web, an underground network of fungal mycelium that connects the roots of various trees and plants. This symbiotic system enables the exchange of information and resources like carbohydrates and minerals. Fungi, such as the popular mycorrhizal type, help transport nutrients between plants, receiving sugars produced by trees through photosynthesis in return. This network also serves as an alarm system. When one tree is attacked by insects or suffers from drought, it sends chemical signals to warn other trees to produce defensive compounds. Studies have shown that older trees, known as mother trees, support younger trees and seedlings by sending nutrients through these underground networks. Spectacular. The Paedophrine imaensis, discovered in the rainforests of New Guinea, is the smallest known vertebrate on Earth. This tiny frog measures only 7.7 millimeters, making it smaller than an adult human fingernail. P. amoensis lives a secret of life in the forest leaf litter, with its tiny size helping it hide from predators. Due to its small size and unique habitat, it is challenging to observe and study. The frog's miniature size means that its eggs develop without a tadpole stage. The young hatch as miniature adult frogs, a rare occurrence among amphibians. The human heart works remarkably hard, beating on average 100,000 times and pumping about 7,500 liters of blood each day. Over a typical human lifetime, the heart beats around 2.5 billion times. This incredibly efficient pump works nonstop, adjusting its rhythm based on the body's needs, speeding up during physical exertion to supply more oxygen to muscles and slowing down during rest. The total length of blood vessels in the human body is approximately 100,000 kilometers, enough to circle the Earth twice. In some cultures, particularly on the islands of Oceania, as well as in Africa and Asia, shells, especially cowrie shells, have historically served as currency. They were easy to transport, hard to counterfeit, and held a set value. These shells were used to exchange goods and in rituals and as a symbol of wealth. In some parts of Oceania and Africa, shells were used as currency until the 20th century. Cowrie shells were so popular as currency that they were traded over long distances, even holding exchange value in distant markets like those in China and India. As Earth orbits the Sun, it moves at an astonishing speed of about 107,000 kilometers per hour, approximately 30 kilometers per second. This motion, however, is virtually unnoticeable to people since the atmosphere and all objects on Earth's surface move at the same speed. This stable, orbital movement, aligned with the laws of gravity and motion, is essential for maintaining the stable conditions on our planet, affecting the length of the year and the changing of seasons. Beyond its orbit around the Sun, Earth also rotates on its axis at around 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator, and, together with the entire solar system, moves through space at around 828,000 kilometers per hour within the Milky Way galaxy. The hooded potohui from New Guinea is one of the few known poisonous birds. Its feathers, skin, and even muscles contain batrachotoxin, a potent toxin also found in some poison dart frogs, such as the golden poison frog. The Potohui's toxicity likely results from its diet, which includes toxic beetles from the Malirity family. Batrachotoxin in these birds serves a defensive purpose, deterring predators and parasites. Touching the bird can cause tingling or burning sensations in the hands, and local tribes are aware of this toxicity, regarding the Potohui as a bird best avoided in their diet. Mosquitoes are short-lived insects, with life cycles typically lasting from a few days to a few weeks. Male mosquitoes live for about one to two weeks, while females can live for a few months if they have access to water and food, mammal or bird blood needed to produce eggs. After fertilization, the female lays eggs, which develop into larvae and then pass through further stages, pupae, and adulthood. Female mosquitoes are the only ones that feed on blood, 
They need the protein to produce eggs, while males feed on plant nectar. The Japanese spider crab, Macrochira kaemphori, found in the deep ocean around Japan, has a leg span of up to 4 meters and weighs up to 19 kilograms. It lives at depths between 150 and 300 meters. Its impressive size and longevity, it can live up to 100 years, make it one of the most fascinating marine invertebrates. The Japanese spider crab is considered a delicacy in Japanese cuisine, but its population is declining, raising concerns about the species' future. Conservation efforts aim to introduce fishing limits to protect these giant crabs from extinction.